What up guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So I'm gonna be talking a little bit faster than usual to talk about the Beseda E3 conference, the post after show of it. So they showed Doom, which looks really great. I haven't played any of the Doom games, but this one looks like I'm gonna be playing it just cause it looks amazing, the game. It looks awesome. Uh, if you haven't seen their conference, you should go and check it out after you're done watching this one, watching this video. And yeah, so it's an amazing game. It was, uh, the graphics looks, like I said, awesome. Uh, there's multiplayer mode on this. So you'll be able to play with your friends, uh, with or against them, I guess, too. And there's a new mode called Snap Map, where you'll be able to create new, uh, new mods and share them with other friends. So I guess uh, that's awesome, too. Uh, next one, it was Dishonored 2. So Dishonored 2 is real and is coming out pr pretty sure next year. Uh, the main character looks like it will be a female character, uh, which I forgot her name, but I'll probably post in the description below. And if I don't, then, well, I forgot then. And uh, after that, uh, which looks actually awesome, Dishonored 2. I didn't know if they were using an Xbox controller or PS4 or PC, but it looks fantastic um they show some elder uh, scroll gameplay uh online for the xbox 360 uh, xbox one and ps4 um then they showed a new game called elder scrolls legends which is a trading card game and it's like the answer to their to the rival hearthstone game it's free to download you'll be able to play on your ipad or pc uh, and then of course the big show the big news of the night was fallout 4 of course uh, they showed um, artwork of the game, so they showed crazy amount of artwork, which looks awesome. Uh, you'll be able to play as a male or female in the game, and there'll be deep, deep customization in the game. So you'll be able to like change, like even the smallest detail in the face. So you have that unique player. Uh, after that, you'll be, you'll have of course the choice to have a dog in the game or not a dog. Um, You'll get a new upgraded Pip Boy, so they're upgrading the Pip Boy design and everything. It's much more newer and different. Um, and of course, in the conference, they showed a real life Pip Boy, which you'll be able to get with the collector's editions if you pre order it. And I don't know if it, you can still pre order it now on Amazon. I don't know if they're still accepting it. But if they do, you could pre order it now, which I'll have in the description below in the link. Um, and then after that, they showed. A new companion app that you'll be able to get if you got the even if you don't have the real Pip Boy and don't get it, you'll be able to download a free companion app to play uh, Fallout 4 and the companion app with it. Uh, and then they showed um, you'll be able to rebuild stuff in Fallout 4, so that was a big thing. You'll be able to rebuild a small little doghouse for the dog or some turrets, of course, for those crazy amount of uh, wasteland uh, creatures. And um, you'll be, of course, able to modify your own power armor, which has been uh, awesome because that's like a suit that I like using. And, and when I played Fallout 3 at New Vegas, um, and the release date for it is November 10, 2015. So that was it for the Peseta News Conference. If you guys want to keep up with the E3, where I'm just rounding up the big things that I liked and sharing them with you quickly. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later. Peace.